binds us together friends hi friends welcome back to my channel in today's vlog i'm going to share with you all a very yummy recipe that is pinkana mixe bhatti palle so masala soya chunk balls recipe it is okay bhatti palle means in uh, english for bhatti we say soya chunk balls so it is a very special dish which my grandfather my grandmother they used to love it and whenever guest comes uh, to their house they used to prepare it with very um, like awesome taste you know like them we cannot prepare but i am trying to prepare this dish and share this dish with you all this dish actually she, my mother has prepared so i have shooted it so i want to share this this special dish with you all so that you all also can prepare at home and serve your family members okay this dish is specially prepared with the ghee we have not used oil here so it is a very high calorie dish and i feel once in a month or once in 3 months banta hai we can try this recipe high calorie recipe and i tell you it is very very awesome you will fall in love with this dish okay let's start the dish so i'm going to tell you the ingredients which we need in this to prepare this dish so let's note down the ingredients two brinjals one bowl green peas half cauliflower that to thick the slice of cauliflower two potatoes the cube should be very thick and big size cubes soya chunks immersed in uh, warm water o one bowl onion ginger paste one spoon nandini ghee half bowl of uh, fresh coconut grated grated coconut dry grated coconut coriander seeds green cardamom eight then cinnamon sticks four to five poppy seeds one spoon eight to nine uh, cloves then cashew nuts that is a uh, small uh, about 15 cashew nuts then ginger red chilies 4 to 5 that is uh, little amount of haldi so i have to dry roast all this masalas and also last you have to uh, fry onion one bowl of onions and put it in a mixer jar and make a fine paste of it keep it aside now take the kadai and add potatoes Uh, these potatoes are taken with along with the skin of the potatoes are chopped and roast them adding only ghee pure ghee no adding oil after uh, frying the potatoes take green peas and fry them nicely so that they turn uh, little pinkish color okay the color of the potatoes and green peas should come little pink color After frying potatoes, green peas, now my mother has added cauliflower slices. Then she, these are also thick, big slices. She is adding uh, pure nandini ghee and going on frying, frying. Nice aroma they are getting of frying cauliflower. Then she is frying uh, soya chunks, which are already. Uh, soak in warm water and remove all the water from them she is going on adding ghee so all the uh, potatoes and cauliflowers take a kadai add 1 tablespoon of uh, ghee and to it add the finely add the fine paste of that masala which we have already done and kept it add little bit of water this 
which this is going to serve eight people. Take spoon and keep it continuously stirring. stirring. Don't allow it the masala to settle down at the bottom. So when it starts boiling, uh, add the soaked soya chunk balls from which we have removed all the water and fried it in the ghee. After 5 minutes, let it to boil for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add the fried cauliflowers. Give it a nice stir. Add the potato cubes. The special thing is the potato cubes are along with the skin. That gives the different taste. Again leave 5 minutes gap and add the green peas. Add salt for taste. And we have to add uh, soaked tamarind juice. My mom is adding soaked tamarind juice for it. It gives a different taste. If you want a little bit sweet, you can, you can add even a little bit of jaggery, one small spoon of jaggery. So when it starts boiling, we have to add this brinjols last because this brinjols boils up very quickly. So before we go into off the gas, we have to add this brinjol pieces to it. So our yummy dish is ready now. So masala soya chunk recipe is ready. Lastly, she has added fried cashews, cashews to it. It gives a very very yummy taste. Along with this dish, we need a salad of onion, fresh grated coconut, coriander, a slice a finely chopped ginger, little and pinch of salt and lemon juice we should eat this dish with along with hot hot chapatis and salad this is ready please try this recipe